record 585 scholarships issued by LTC Foundation. New housing project has a name, the Oscar. Wisconsin receives its first national bike route. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Friday, August 28th, 2020. The number of confirmed cases of COVID-19 experienced within Sheboygan County since the beginning of the pandemic began here in March, has topped 1,000. Thursday's update from the Sheboygan County Division of Public Health shows that 17 more persons received positive test results since Wednesday, upping the total so far to 1,005. 392 tests were returned in all yielding a positive rate of 4.3%. More, nine more persons recovered, putting that active case number at 85. Four of those are hospitalized. Statewide, 10,791 tests returned in the last 24 hours, and 878, or 8.1%, were positive. The seven-day average added up to about 8.2%, 11 more fatalities due to the disease were recorded, raising the death toll to 1,111 persons. 33 more persons were hospitalized since Wednesday. Of the 344 patients, 107 are in the ICU, and 133 persons are hospitalized for symptoms, but still awaiting test results for the confirmed 372 persons are being ventilated. Back in Sheboygan County, 13 facilities are being investigated currently. This means that contract tracing is being done to see who may have the exposed, the isolated, isolating of sick individuals and quarantining those who have only been exposed. The only facilities identify are skilled nursing long-term facilities where six investigations are underway. Those are Pine Haven, Drive Campus, Sheboygan Senior Community, Progressive Health Services, Sunny Ridge, Rocky Knoll, and Sheboygan Health Services. One investigation is being conducted at a healthcare facility. Four are a workplace related and one is an other setting investigation such as adult center, restaurant, event space, or religious setting. And for the first time, an education setting is hosting an investigation. The county DPH on Thursday issued information concerning the process for, the, for publishing a list of schools with open facility-wide public health investigations. And this list will be shared each Thursday beginning September 10th and weekly updated. The release will include a list of the schools with open suggestions such as investigations last until two maximum incubation periods have passed since the last possible exposure to a COVID-19 case in the facility without any new cases. For COVID-19, this two period span is 28 days. What will not be included in the weekly update will be any differentiation between the age and or grade level of an active case and the number of cases within a facility. The full release can be found on LinkedIn in the county DPH's daily COVID-19 update at sheboygancounty.com. Beginning on Monday, the intersection of Taylor Drive and Unions Avenue on Sheboygan West Side will be completely closed, sending Taylor Drive traffic to South Business Drive via Indiana Afternoon.
Avenue on the north side and with, with Washington Avenue on the south side. The actions is needed for the sanitary sewer and other utility installations and improvements needed for the new advocate. Aurora Medical Facility now under construction. DPH Director David Beeble says that once utilities are completed, probably in mid-November, the road construction will be completed and the intersection will reopen in 2021. The next time you feel like bicycling across the state of Wisconsin, you can do it on the officially designated U.S. bike route, USBR 30. The destination was conferred by the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials and crosses the state from east to west. The 269 mile route begins at Milwaukee and ends in bluff siding on the Mississippi River. New, no new construction was required at the route uses multiple times of existing local, country, and state bike paths and, and trails. The alternate USBR 230 is used when the Merrimack Ferry across the Wisconsin Department or D Wisconsin River is not in operation. The U.S. bicycle route system currently has over 14,000 miles in 29 states, and Washington states, Washington, D.C., and you can find a map and turn-by-turn -turn direction for the U.S. BR 30 on the Wisconsin DOT website. Two people are now confirmed dead and the other injured in Kenosha after an overnight shooting amid protests in Kenosha. A video circulating online shows a man with a AR-15 type gun running away from a group of protesters who were facing off with him and the police. The, fa the man falls to the ground and shots fire into the crowd dropping two people in the group. Another video shows a man bleeding with bystanders, a, with bystanders yelling that he had been shot, that he had been hit in the head, and protesters have been ongoing in the city since Sunday when police shot Jacob Black in a 29-year-old black man several times in the back. Blake survived and was unfortunately paralyzed. Meanwhile, Republican lawmakers in Wisconsin say Governor Evers could have stopped some of the violence in Kenosha by simply accepting help from the White House yesterday. The White House yesterday says the governor refused an offer for more National Guard troops than Evers. Administration confirms that they refused an an offer of the agents from the Homeland Security. State Representative Jim Steinke said on Twitter Tuesday night that Kenosha was burning while the governor was fiddling. The largest known housing department or development so far planned in Sheboygan now has been a great mission-based green screen development group LLC had announced its plans to develop an apartment complex on the existing Van Dierwart property on South 16th Street 11 months ago, and on the Thursday campaign announced that it had been purchased and the property will be, the property development name will be the Oscar. The name pays homage to Oscar Zimbal, who established his brick company on the site in 1888. The 17-acre site will be a fixture on a high-density, mixed-use development of 241, two- and three-bedroom apartments. 
economically priced for the workforce segment, a, and a new quick trip, and a one and a one half acre for the use, still being determined by that first phase and when it will happen. And this is planned to open up in September of next year. And finally, the needs of adult students trying to earn their degree in the midst of a pandemic and this related employment slowdowns have prompted the Lakeshore Technical College Foundation to award a record of 585 scholarships for the upcoming fall semester. And in a normal year, that would mean being closer to 150. Vice President of Advancement at TLC said, Kristen Lippart said, thanks are allowed to donors in the community who has said she has really stepped up to the spring and summer to make sure all of us are helped and major gifts were received from the West Foundation Incorporation. The Bratz Family Foundation, as well as numerous individuals and companies, in order to keep the scholarship funds funding, the LTC Foundation is conducting a, the Save the Seat campaign that hopes to raise about $100,000. About a quarter of that goal remains to be raised. Um, and that is our report for today. Join me again next week for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.